Yeah, Spy got started. The, the, the germ of the idea began in about 2002. And at that stage, there was a lot of enthusiasm for anti-carbohydrate messages. Our clients were saying, can you develop no-carb or low-carb products for us? Can you steer people? So people were turning away very strongly from grain-based foods. And yet, scientifically, we know grain-based foods are very good for you. So we developed this research program around carbohydrate metabolism, understanding where it is in plants, how it works with humans, etc. And we put a proposal to the government and they chipped in three million a year for six years, which is, is pretty good, pretty strong funding. Now, this is year six of that program. Now, in the program, it's mostly about science. So this one chunk is very much around clinical trials. Uh, what happens when you eat these foods? What do they do to your blood, blood glucose levels? How do you manage that? How do you predict that, etc. Second major chunk of research is around what's out there in the crops. So we looked at thousands of vegetables, fruits, cereals, just looking for where was the variety that we could use um, to make healthier foods with and, and bring new ingredients or perhaps even cross crossbreed within species, no genetic <laughs> modification, crossbreed within species to, to enhance the carbohydrate properties. We also looked at food structure. Why is pasta good? Why are other, f other foods not so good when it comes to carbohydrate digestion? So we looked at that on all sorts of levels from macro level, like how chunky should it be and how's the effect of large sized particles on people, right down to fine microscopy and can we look at these things and understand what the food structure will do when someone eats it. As part of that, we focused on how food goes through the face. This is an international research program. There's people in other parts of the world are studying what happens with food in the stomach, what happens with food in other places. So we decided to focus on what happens when you chew it. So we've done a lot of work. We've got a wee chewing machine that simulates exactly what a human face does. We've got PhD students studying what happens when people eat peanuts, why do they chew them to certain levels, all those sort of things. So a lot of stuff around that. We also had a, um, a section of the work is on making the food have good shelf life and good sensory properties because if it tastes like rubbish and doesn't last very long, no one's going to want it. And then right at the end of the program, there was this one small part was, if the science works and is good, how will you tell people? Now we can tell industry people and the like because we're well connected there, but how would we tell consumers? So there was a, a little objective called sector development, which was, can we use some IT tools that would allow us to communicate healthy food messages to consumers in ways that haven't been done before? Now we didn't know when we started what was going to be in that. So one of the first things we did was have a look at what messages are being put out around the world, what symbols are being used, what, how do consumers know whether a food is going to have good digestion properties or not. We also did some work, sector focused work with consumers, talking with them about how do they understand food energy, what does the word food energy mean. And one of the messages we got strongly back from those was energy balance the amount of energy going in, the amount of energy coming out and balancing that together is old hat, boring and not very pleasant to manage your life by. But how do I manage my life so it's good and exciting and I've got energy when I need it and not too much, not too little there in the right time. But that was much more interesting. So, so a whole lot of concepts started to build up together. Some around food, some around what happens metabolically in people and some around... Um, how consumers think and react to things. Now, what we did early on in the piece was a clinical study with the University of Otago where we got them to benchmark a classic low-fat weight loss diet, the sort of thing that you would normally get if you were getting advice on how to lose weight. Um, and we benchmarked that against a diet that was built on the sort of principles that we were thinking about in this research program. Um, the sort of phrases that are coming through now, keep you, keeps you fuller for longer, etc., those are very generic phrases, but we've got quite specific science in underneath it. So we benchmarked those two diets, and what we found was people did equally well on both. Now that might not seem very exciting, but to us it was, because it said 
hey, a diet built around the sort of principles we're thinking about in this research program is just as effective as one that where someone is basically starved to lose weight. And what we found was that people on that study um, enjoyed the, the, the diet that uh, was based around our principles somewhat better. Um, they were less hungry on it. Uh, they enjoyed some of the new foods they were being introduced to. This was very early on stuff. We followed them. They were on the diet for six months. We followed them for a year to have a look at how did they go after that. Then we were pretty happy with those results that Otago had got for us, but we thought, okay, that's very all very well. It's done with a, a bunch of 80 people who are given very intensive instruction. They've taken shopping, they're shown how to do this, they've got to report to the, the scientist you know, you know, weekly or whatever it is, they've got to report in. So they're highly motivated. But you can't go and treat the whole country like that. So how could we reach and bring this, this sort of stuff, the science, to benefit New Zealand much more widely. And we thought, well, I wonder if we can get good results if we deliver this over the internet. So in 2007, we developed a pilot study based on it to test whether we could deliver the same messages effectively and produce those same changes in people just using the internet without... without um, face-to-face -face contact at all because what we wanted to do was have something that could reach people anywhere in New Zealand where they can plug a, compu a computer to the internet. In both the pilot study and the um, plant and food research study we had one or two people who achieved really impressive results like tens of kilograms of weight loss and for those people it was really life-changing. I mean in the pilot study we had uh, this lady sign up who was, was quite large and by the time she'd finished on that program uh, we, we called her in to, for a meeting and she rocked up in, in a wee red sports car type thing and she looked a very sassy lady and she works as a personal trainer. And that's a big shift in a person's life. In the plant and food research study our key person there was Hub Kirkhoffs, who's one of our scientists. Now he was contemplating stomach stapling, stapling and he's now competing in events, you know, big bike rides and things like that. His life's quite different. And Hub said that he, he was living, he thought he was eating very healthily before. So we made a big change. And this is a bright guy who knows food, knows his stuff, he works in agriculture, and, and he was able to pick up stuff from the program that benefited him. So, having made the product, it was how do we roll it out? Well, we, we were very fortunate that um, someone from TVNZ heard about it and was quite keen on it and did a little close-up program. And once that happened, we found that uh, we got a lot of subscribers in the next two weeks. Our dietitians and, and sports people were very busy reviewing diaries, uh, reviewing food diaries, reviewing activity diaries, giving advice, answering questions about what should be in my pantry, how do I prepare food for this, that or the other thing. And um, the exciting thing has been that since then we've been able to watch these people. These are real people who've paid for it because they, they want it. And uh, we've seen really good results. What we try to do is run the program so that it's not spectacular that we're after. We do have our spectacular weight loss people, but spectacular is not what we're after. We're after steady week by week um, management of weight. So 300 grams, 500 grams a week is just great. Um, because that's much more likely to be change in a way that will, will be permanent in life, which is, is, is what we're after. We're trying to pre we're trying to, um, get people to, when they finish the program, they're ready to walk away and look after their life for themselves and live it. They don't need us anymore. That's, that's one of the, the goals we're after there. So we're after steady weight loss and we're seeing it. Um, and we're seeing it by the, by the hundreds now. It's really good.